stunning pictures this morning out of Yellowstone. The Yellowstone River is at its highest elevation in more than 100 years. Yellowstone, the enigmatic national park known for its colorful hot springs and vast geothermal systems, has recently started showing several signs causing scientists to panic. These signs have made many experts and park rangers believe that the supervolcano at the heart of this national park will erupt at any moment. In addition to this, something new has begun to appear in Yellowstone, something that poses a different threat to the park and everyone in the surrounding regions. What are these signs that make scientists fear that the supervolcano will erupt? How bad will a Yellowstone eruption be? Also, what new threat has been spotted at Yellowstone National Park that is terrifying experts and citizens? Join us in this video as Yellowstone Park Ranger. Just revealed that something big happened inside Yellowstone. Yellowstone is a national park located in Wyoming, with parts of it extending into Montana and Idaho. Established in 1872, this park is considered to be the first national park in the world. What makes this place so famous is the vast natural landscapes and the numerous geothermal features. From wildlife to geysers, hot springs, and volcanoes, Yellowstone has it all. One of the popular geothermal features at Yellowstone is the Old Faithful Geyser, a huge geyser that erupts frequently. Yellowstone's many fascinating geothermal features attract thousands of tourists each year, thus proving to be an important revenue generator for the U.S. government. Also, Yellowstone inspired the creation of other national parks in the U.S., like the Grand Canyon and Shenandoah. However, as phenomenal and valuable as Yellowstone might be to the U.S., it poses a great risk to the country. In fact, for decades, experts have feared Yellowstone would one day be a source of great disaster and catastrophe to the good people of the United States. This is because of the looming danger of a volcanic eruption. You see, while Yellowstone may seem like a serene and fantastic wonderland, it is actually home to a colossal volcano, the mesmerizing caldera. The Yellowstone caldera has intrigued scientists for a long time. Studies and investigations into this caldera began as far back as 1923 and have continued to date. Calderas are geologic depressions or craters formed when a large volcano erupts and collapses. The Yellowstone caldera is a huge crater that was formed after an eruption that occurred some 640,000 years ago. From the size of the Yellowstone caldera, one can tell that it was formed in the aftermath of a massive eruption. It measures 59 by 70 kilometers, making it the second largest in the world. However, what's most thrilling about this caldera isn't its size or its colorful springs. It's the magma waiting to burst out from beneath. The Yellowstone caldera is also called the Yellowstone supervolcano due to the scale of the damage it can cause if it erupts. Now you may be wondering why this caldera hasn't erupted so far and why scientists are scared about it now. Well, it turns out that we are right on schedule for a Yellowstone volcanic outburst. Research has shown that the volcano erupts every 600,000 to 700,000 years. The last major eruption took place about 640,000 years ago, ejecting over 1,000 cubic kilometers of ash that demolished the surrounding landscape. To put it in perspective, the volume of ash released during this eruption was almost 800 times greater than what was witnessed in the eruption of St. Helens Volcano, United States, on May 18, 1980. St. Helens is regarded as the deadliest volcanic eruption in U.S. history. It killed 57 people and sent a huge, thick cloud of ash and smoke into the air, as well as vast magma flows that devastated the surrounding landscape. Imagine something that's 800 times more severe than this. To make it worse, scientists have discovered that the Yellowstone volcano erupts with this sort of magnitude every 600,000 to 700,000 years. In other words, what we are set to experience with the next outburst will be exactly on the same scale as what happened last time. Volcano experts have detected many signs of an imminent eruption. First, the ground around Yellowstone volcano has swollen significantly due to increased magma activity. Experts have detected a rise of up to 10 inches, signifying that the magma is hardening, perhaps in preparation for an eruption. There have also been a series of earthquakes in the area, with more geothermal features like geysers being a lot more active than usual. Earthquakes can be a terrible sign when they occur in the vicinity of a volcano. The St. Helens eruption was preceded by a series of earthquakes that lasted about two months. 
So there's a good chance that the same scenario is repeating itself with Yellowstone. Scientists are studying the last three known Yellowstone eruptions to predict when this next one will happen and how explosive it will be. Today, you can still see certain geological features that stand as evidence of the last major eruption that occurred 600,000 years ago. Although this eruption wasn't the greatest one, its effects can still be seen today. The greatest Yellowstone eruption, according to scientific research, occurred around 2 million years ago, when the volcano ejected almost 600 cubic miles of magma, volcanic ash, and gases. Experts regard this explosion as the largest one ever recorded in the history of North America. However, the chances of getting such a massive explosion aren't very likely. Most probably, the next Yellowstone eruption will be on the same level and scale as the last one. But even so, it's still going to be beyond anything the world has ever seen. Comparing the famous St. Helens eruption to the last Yellowstone eruption is like comparing the explosion you get from a firecracker to a nuclear bomb blast. Experts believe that the next Yellowstone eruption will be on a whole new level. The caldera alone is enough testament to how massive the explosion was. You see, calderas form because the molten magma in the earth that would have given support to the rock formation above it is forced out. And so, the more the amount of magma expelled, the bigger the caldera. The Yellowstone caldera is massive, meaning that the volcanic eruption that produced it must have been gigantic. There's really no way to prepare for a volcanic eruption of that scale. For now, experts can only hope for the best. There are many ways an active caldera, like the Yellowstone caldera, can prove dangerous or catastrophic. Besides massive explosions that send lava flying everywhere, there could also be lava flows or steam eruptions from the caldera. Lava flows occur when molten rock oozes out of cracks and slowly flows down the landscape. Steam eruptions are massive explosions of steam from a volcano that occur when magma heats groundwater or surface water. Several steam eruptions preceded the famous St. Helens eruption in 1980. So, it is expected that this sign will equally play out with the Yellowstone caldera. Yellowstone volcano is loaded with magma, which is why you will frequently find geysers or hot steam coming out from the area. Recently, there's been increased activity in the caldera, causing experts to worry over the likelihood of an imminent eruption. And so, the big question now is, how bad will a Yellowstone eruption be? Although Yellowstone is loaded with magma, the truth is that not all of this magma can erupt. This is because volcanoes usually consist of both solid and liquid magma. Only the molten rock or liquid magma can erupt. Scientists are using a new technique to try and determine the amount of molten rock present in the caldera that can potentially spill out in the event of a blowout. According to the new findings, the upper layer of the reservoir contains 16 to 20 percent magma. This is more than the previous estimate from early research teams, which estimated the value to be only 10 percent. And so, it's either the experts who conducted these tests initially had it all wrong, or the caldera has been working behind the scenes to gather more magma for its next blowout. Either way, one thing is for sure, the Yellowstone caldera is gearing up for something big. Brandon Schmant, a geophysicist at the University of Mexico and one of the main scientists studying the Yellowstone caldera, had this to say about it. For two million years, there has been a magmatic system there. It does not look like it's going away, that's for sure. Previously, experts had deduced that there were two magma reservoirs in Yellowstone. One was located about 3 to 10 miles beneath the surface and contained thick, highly viscous magma. Another was located further down, about 12 to 30 miles below the surface, and contained less viscous or runnier magma. It was also believed that only about 15% of the shallower reservoir and 2% of the deep reservoir could erupt, However, scientists aren't sure as there's no practical way to test or verify these numbers. Studying volcanoes can be hard. Usually, volcanologists use seismic data to map out the internal structure and composition of volcanoes. Things like earthquakes when they occur in the region around a volcano can provide a lot of seismic data to help volcanologists in their calculations. Whenever seismic waves travel through the Earth's surface or interior, their speed changes when passing through hot or molten rock. Volcanologists take advantage of this feature to map out the location and characteristics of magma reservoirs in volcanoes. However, this method is limited because seismic waves sometimes bend around packets of molten rock since they don't travel in a straight line. And so, 
Usually, scientists end up getting wrong values or calculations of molten reservoirs. The ground beneath Yellowstone is like a maze intertwined with hot molten rock that can spill at any moment and damage lives and properties. But there's more beneath Yellowstone than we previously thought. In fact, experts have recently found something so shocking that it has intensified the fear of a Yellowstone eruption. Scientists have detected a rare gas that has been locked away in the Earth's crust for billions of years. Experts are calling this gas ancient helium. Now, this gas is seeping out from the depths of the supervolcano. But what makes this gas so intriguing, and of what significance is it to Yellowstone's imminent eruption? Well, firstly, this gas is ancient. According to the Yellowstone Observatory, a body devoted to studying the Yellowstone volcano, ancient helium is a very rare gas. The usual gases you find emitted from Yellowstone include argon, carbon dioxide, steam, and methane. Occasionally, Yellowstone also emits helium from its geothermal structures, though it is always in smaller quantities compared to other gases. Helium is not as abundant as the other gases in Yellowstone's caldera. However, scientists from the United States Geological Survey have found out that this new helium emanates from deep within the rocks where it has been stored for millions of years. This is why it was renamed Ancient Helium. It's a kind of gas that hasn't been seen in a long time, and it's not a good sign. Helium, which is actually the second most abundant element in the universe, exists in two main forms. You can either see it as helium-4 or helium-3. Helium-4 is the dominant form, with two protons and two neutrons. It is produced during the radioactive decay of heavy elements like uranium. Helium-3, on the other hand, is a much rarer form of helium. It contains two protons and one neutron and is a much older version of helium. Experts believe helium-3 has been present on Earth since the planet's formation. Helium-3 has been found in the hydrothermal systems of Yellowstone National Park. This has led experts to believe that the Yellowstone hotspots and manga actually originate from deep within the Earth's mantle. From there, it follows a relatively direct path to the surface. This newly discovered gas, however, is not helium-3, but helium-4. The discovery of ancient helium-4 gas has further hinted to scientists that several complex processes are happening beneath the surface of Yellowstone. The journey of this ancient helium-4 to the surface of Yellowstone is more complex than anyone could have imagined. A team of dedicated researchers and scientists from the United States Geological Survey have been collecting gas samples from Yellowstone for isotopic analysis. Recently, they discovered the amount of helium-4 that emanates from Yellowstone is far greater than what they should find in a caldera. And also, through research and calculations, they found this gas to be hundreds of millions, if not billions of years old. This is quite shocking, and just goes to show how ancient the Yellowstone volcano really is. This ancient helium comes from a pocket of the Earth's crust that dates back to the Archean Eon, about 2.5 billion years ago. Scientists have theorized that around 2 million years ago, the Yellowstone hotspot must have penetrated these ancient rocks, causing the stored helium in them to be released. The Yellowstone hotspot is a geothermal anomaly responsible for the geothermal features like geysers and hot springs found at Yellowstone. It turns out that there is a lot more to Yellowstone's geological evolution than we thought. And perhaps there's still a lot more we don't know. This recent ancient helium discovery has put scientists in a state of unease. Their unease is because helium and other similar gases are crucial indicators of imminent eruptions in volcanoes. Aside from earthquakes, several volcanoes also exhibited increased ratios of helium emissions in the months that preceded an eruption. So, what if this ancient helium is the last sign before the big boom? Currently, the highest ratios of helium-3 to helium-4 are found at the heart of the caldera with levels around 10 to 17 Ra. All of these signs, coupled with the fact that Yellowstone is long overdue for an eruption, mean that we might experience a cataclysmic eruption in our lifetime. However, there's another issue occurring right now. Unknown, mysterious objects are hovering over Yellowstone Park. Mysterious glowing orbs have been sighted in Yellowstone. One of such orbs was captured on one of Yellowstone's live cameras, and the video was uploaded online. As you can see in this clip, there seems to be a weird glowing object resembling a mini sun hovering over the landscape. No one knows what this is, and there were a lot of speculations when the clip was shared online. 
Some netizens suggested that the object was one of the top secret aircraft invented by the US government. However, this is unlikely given that the object in question is quite small compared to a plane or helicopter. Usually, top secret high-tech crafts by the US military come in aircraft sizes. The B-21 Raider, for instance, measures 15 meters in length and about 42 meters in wingspan. And so, there's little chance that the government could create something this small. Yellowstone park visitors and park rangers have spotted this glowing object several times. People who have managed to see it in person have confirmed that they do not look like everyday objects due to their size, shape, and mannerisms. The objects seem to float around the area and also appear to pulsate. Even in the recorded clip, you can see how it slowly moves and pulsates. Some viewers with keen eyesight also reported seeing some other strange objects in the video, with one such object flying into one of the geysers. Most people believe that this orb is a UAP, and in fact, many such orbs have been sighted across the United States. In 2022, a House of Rep member, Mike Gallagher, described how a UFO in the form of a glowing red orb shut down nuclear weapons at a military base in Montana. Could these be the same kinds of orbs that are being sighted at Yellowstone? And if so, what is their purpose? There's a lot of mystery and controversy over these objects. The fact that they only measure a few feet and have no discernible propulsion systems makes them seem like something from a sci-fi movie. Also, according to folks who have encountered these orbs, they're able to move at incredible speeds, and they make no noise while in flight. It is for these reasons that most people believe that these objects have alien origins. Alien conspiracy theorists firmly believe that these glowing spheres are alien spacecraft, like the popular dish-shaped UFOs commonly reported in the United States. Although this may be true, there isn't much proof to back the claim. This is why some experts are suggesting that this glowing sphere may be something else, such as ball lightning. Ball lightning is a rare phenomenon. Just as the name implies, it's a ball of lightning that is seen as a glowing sphere of light. It mostly appears during thunderstorms and is usually accompanied by hissing or buzzing sounds. Usually, it rarely lasts for up to a minute before disappearing. Scientists are still trying to find out what causes ball lightning. The rarity of this phenomenon makes it quite hard to study. In addition, it's impossible to simulate a ball of lightning in a laboratory, so scientists can only rely on eyewitness accounts and any tangible information. One theory scientists have postulated is that ball lightning is caused by the combustion of gases in the atmosphere. However, even if that is the case, these glowing orbs seem more like floating balls than lightning balls. Take this clip for instance. There's no accompanying lightning or thunderstorm. Also, ball lightnings don't move at supersonic speeds like these things do. So, once again, it seems that we're dealing with something strange, perhaps something alien. Glowing or pulsating orbs have been reported in several parts of the US, as well as in the UK, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. One thing is consistent though. Wherever these things are found, they exhibit certain traits or abilities that seem to defy the laws of physics. In other words, they do things that have never been seen or even thought possible for any aircraft. Some eyewitnesses have reported how the orbs would appear out of nowhere, then suddenly disappear in the twinkle of an eye or shoot off in a particular direction at an unimaginable speed. Some witnesses who were opportune to see it up close described the light emanating from the orbs as an unnatural ghostly light. All of these reports further strengthen the belief that we're dealing with something otherworldly that's potentially dangerous. So far, in the United States alone, over 3,000 reports have been made about these glowing orbs. The actual number is believed to be a lot higher since a majority of people do not report their UFO encounters. Glowing orbs were already a big-time puzzle on their own. Finding them in Yellowstone Park raises even more questions. It seems that the US government and visitors at Yellowstone have to worry about a volcanic eruption with the potential to destroy thousands of lives. Now they also have to watch out for potentially harmful orbs that could have alien origins. All this makes you wonder about the fate of the famous Yellowstone Park in the near future. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.